السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم وبارك على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين أما بعد uh, In the previous class we're still inshallah in chapter 2 Always keep in your mind that chapter 2 is what is فعل يفعل فعل يفعل فعل يفعل فعل يفعل and always keep in mind also that chapter 1 has وعليكم السلام ورحمة الله وبركاته that uh, chapter one is a principle in how many types of verbs? Mm -hmm. In three. Okay. And chapter two is a principle in how many types of verbs? In four. But always remember this. Always revise. Always. A very good way to revise. Okay. As our shuyukh yani advised. Um, especially our Sheikh Muhammad Ali Adam Lafubi, Hafidah Allah Ta'ala, he said, yani, if you uh, want to revise a lesson, okay, you go back home and you read it five times, just reading, read through, just read through five times. And then on the following day, read the same lesson which you have read five times, four times. And then on the day after, read it three times. And so on. Gradually go down until you end up with reading it only once. If you do that with every lesson, if you do that with every lesson, then insha'Allah ta'ala nothing will pass you by. And if you couldn't do it five times, and the time did not allow, do it three times. Three, two, one. Love it. So chapter two has four. And in chapter two is a principle followed, and a pattern followed, and a platform followed in Four types of verbs, we took of those four, two, so far. Isn't that so? Or we took three? Yeah? We took three, actually, yes? Yeah, we took three. So we, we told you what is the, the third. We told you what is the third. The third is when the ain and the lam are identical, provided that the verb is what? Transitive or intransitive? Uh, yes, intransitive. Well, there. Where is the transitive? Where? And when the in and lam are identical and it's transitive, where is that? That's in chapter one. Okay? But don't just say transitive, intransitive. Right? It has to be, and what they mean is the verb where the in and the lam are identical. Okay? Now, today, inshallah, we take the fourth, which is the last. The fourth. Okay? Which is the last. And uh, yani I uh, bring your attention to a very important point. When we say chapter 2 is a principle in, uh, in the four types of verbs, it doesn't mean that only those four types of verbs follow, follow that pattern. You got it? But these are beneficial yani pointers and uh, yeah, the principles to know uh, when you decide a verb to follow a certain chapter. Are we clear on that? Huh? And it doesn't mean when we say chapter 1 is a principle to three types of verbs, that means only those types of verbs belong to chapter 1 and any other type of verb, any other verb does not belong to chapter 1. No, that's not what we mean. Okay? Because we have given you uh, a number of verbs which aren't one of aren't any of those types in the beginning of our classes when we made some uh, yes of course yes when we when we you know you remember when we uh, spoke about the uh, the uh, scale and then we were giving you many examples and we spoke about the chapters when we started speaking about the chapters and we mentioned uh, the six chapters and we were mentioning verbs that don't fall. For example, we were mentioning verbs uh, following the pattern of chapter 1, which uh, aren't one of the three types that we have mentioned. 
لايك عبده نعم لايك عبده يعبده عبده يعبده لو عبده يعبده is عبده uh, a verb which uh, has its عين as well no is it a verb which has its لام as well no is it a verb where the عين and the لام are identical and it huh? no okay so but it still it still follows chapter chapter what chapter one Understand? Walaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. So what is meant, barakallahu fikum? What is meant is giving you some um, uh, yani, beneficial rules to some chapters. Okay? So that you, you are, yani, if you aren't able to uh, decide uh, for, uh, uh, for all verbs, at least you are to be able to decide for most of them. Okay, or for a large number of them by having some pointers and uh, yeah, any rules uh, to decide where the verb goes. Is this understood? This has to be understood, insha'Allah ta'ala. Wabish? Okay, today we take the fourth, and the fourth is a bit of a, a bit exciting, inshallah, because there is a, yeah, a new principle involved here in today's. So the fourth, the fourth type uh, of verbs, which yeah, any, by default belong to chapter two, is every or whenever, whenever. The um, the uh, fa whenever the fa is a wow, okay. Provided that the uh, lam isn't one of the Mm. Throat letters. When, whenever, whenever the fat is a wow. Whenever the fat is a wow. The fat. What is the fat? What is the fat? Just checking, Yani. What is the fat? Ah, uh, ah, The first original letter. Don't forget. Don't just say first. First original letter. Okay? Because the first might be extra. So you have to specify. Say the first original letter. Um, so whatever the fat is, a uh, wow. Provided that the lamb isn't one of the throat letters. Let's see now. Let's see how we are going to do this, inshallah ta'ala. Okay, so we're going to bring um, yeah, a set of um, uh, yeah, any, um, root letters as we always do. Okay, so let's take for example uh, the wow and the gene and the bat and the wow and the lamb and the gene and the Wow, and the gene, and the dal. Why is always a wow in the beginning? Why are we always writing a wow in the beginning? Uh, just to check if you're with us, huh? Because this is the fourth rule. The fourth rule, the fourth type of verbs is always a wow in the beginning. The fat is a wow. Okay? All right. So the wow and the jim and the dal, you have also the wow. I'm just giving you any uh, the common common words used. The wow and the ain and the dal. And you have the wow and the lamb and the dal. And 
you have the wow and the sad and the fat. The wow and sad and fat. Okay. Are you with me? Okay. Then you have the wow and the sad and the, and the lamb. Ah. Wow, sad, lamb. And you have also the wow and the zai and the noon. Wow. The zai. How many do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Just one more. One more. For example, we give you the wow and the off and the ya. Okay, and the last one is going to be in, an interesting one because uh, yeah, we're going to work with two principles, a principle which we have taken before and a principle which we will take today, inshaAllah ta'ala. Okay, now, now we are going to match those verbs with what and what? With fa'ala and yaf'ilu. So you'll forget. Fa'ala, yaf'ilu. Try to focus, inshaAllah, on what you're doing. Okay? Fa'ala, yaf'ilu. Okay? So don't don't forget that you are doing fa'ala yaf'ilu. Alright? So let's bring that out here. Let's not make like a sort of a table or something. Okay. There we go. Okay. That's how you should do it at home if you have a homework, you know. So now what we are doing is we're going to match or we're going to build from those root letters these forms we're going to build from those root letters these forms build from those root letters these forms okay so the wow and the gene and the bat you want to build from it a form of fa'ala so what are you going to say wa ja ba that's right beautiful Wajaba. 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 Wajaba means it became obligatory. Okay? And wajaba originally means it became it it, it it fell. It fell down. Or it became established. It's originally. Yani in the linguistic meaning. Yani. Linguistic meaning of wajaba, it fell. Or it became what? It became established. But the reason why we mentioned it became obligatory, obligatory because this is the meaning which comes uh, across your mind when, whenever you hear this word, wajaba. Because yeah? you refer it to the word wajib. Naam, fell, falling. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah Al-Hajj, فَإِذَا وَجَبَتْ جُنُوبُهَا فَكُلُوا مِنْهَا فَإِذَا وَجَبَتْ and if they fall down, if it falls down on, on its side, either way, it is sort of the hajj. So either wajabat junubuha, fakulu minha, wa atayimul ba is a fakir. Wade, either wajabat, either wajabat. Right? No. Now, see, when they are down on their side. Yeah? Yeah. So, wajada. Okay. Okay, from the wow and the lamb and the jim, how do we say it from fa'ala? Bring it to fa'ala. We say wa la ja. Wa la ja. Wa la ja. And wa la ja means he entered or it entered. You can either say um, he, or you can say it. Whatever you can say, whatever you can say he for, you can say it, and also for she. 
Okay? Walaja. Then Walaja means he entered. No, like the yes. Okay? Then you have Wow. Ah, Wow Jim and Dad, you say? Wa ja da. Yes? You would be on track, yes? Wajada. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, Wa wajada Allah indahu. Ahsanti, naam. Wa wajada Allah indahu, fa wafahu hisaba. Wallahu sadiq al-hisab. Awka bulumatin, fi bahri al-lubjihin, ya ashahu mawjum, ya thawqihi mawjum, ya thawqihi sahab. Okay, وجد الله عنده يعني he found he found Allah with him واضح وجد الله عنده نعم وجد this is وجد and as Allah سبحانه وتعالى said as the blessed sister said وجد عندها رزقا about زكريا فلما دخل عليها المحراب وجد عندها رزقا قال يا مريم أن لك هذا قالت هو من عند الله وجد he found with her some provision. Wadi? Wajada. Okay? And wa? Ha? The next one? Wa'ada. 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 By the name, not being one of the throat letters. Ah, we took, uh, if you were with us last class, what did we say the throat letters were? Hmm. Ah, yeah, Ahmed. What did we say the throat letters were? Ahsanti. The Hamza and the Ha and the Ayn and the Ha and the Ghain and the Kha. Okay? So the Lam should not be one of the throat letters. If it's one of the throat letters, it, uh, it's not of uh, chapter 2. Okay? By Wajada, Walaja, Wajada, Wa'ada. Wa'ada is he promised. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in Surah An-Nur, uh, which is Surah number 24, Wa'ada Allahu al-lazina amanu wa'amilu al-salihati layastakhlifannahum fil ardi kama astakhlifa al-lazina min qablihim wa layumakkinanna lahum dinahum al-lazhi irtada lahum ولا يبدلنهم من بعد خوفهم أن يعبدون لا يشركون بشيء. meaning Allah سبحانه وتعالى promised. does Allah break His promise? hmm. ah. does Allah break His promise? no. so if that which Allah promised did not happen, where is the problem? in Allah or in us? hmm. in us. that means we haven't done what is a condition. To have that promise met. Okay? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala promised what here? He promised those who believe and do righteous good deeds that He would give them succession in the land as He has given those before them. And that He would, uh, and that he would uh, give them authority to, pra to practice their deen. And that He would exchange their uh, fear with safety and security. Provided that they do one thing. So if they don't do that thing, they will not get what Allah promised. Because they didn't do what Allah asked them to do, to have that which He promised. Which is what? Which is worshipping Allah alone. Singling out Allah in worship. At-Tawheed. La ilaha illallah. wa barakallahu feekum. So, so uh, ponder and reflect on this. Hayy. Walad. Huh. The wa and the lam and the dal. Huh. You say wa. لا دا ولد ولد ووالد ووالد وما ووالد وما وما ولد نو هي بارك الله فيك ولد يس ولد يو سيد بوي يو اسكين اف ولد از بوي سي وات ار وي تيكين هير ار وي تيكين نونز اور فيربس Ah, uh, verbs. So get out of your mind that whatever we're taking are nouns. Okay. 
Yes. Uh, this is uh, yani, part of your part of the answer. Another part, yani, walada. The one you want is waladun. But this is walada, a verb, past verb. Now walad, uh, it is uh, yani, it has been, or people are under the impression that walad is a name given for the boy. And that is not correct. Walad is every child, whether it be boy or girl, male or female. Uh, walad is every child, any child, whether he is male or female is called walad. But now if you go to some countries, you find that uh, uh, يعني, the Arabs in their slang, they call the boy mostly walad. Okay? Meaning, and they're calling, they're giving this name to what? To the boy. And that's not correct. Okay? Yeah, they restrict it to the boy. But, in reality, walad is what? Uh, is the child. Wabih, the begotten child. Uh, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, huh? Lam yalid. Walam yulad. Yalid is from the verb walada, as you shall see soon, inshallah. Okay? Naam, ahsanti barakallahu fiki. Naam. Post that verse up, respect the sister. Post it up. Naam. The sister also brought, brought us another verse. ولد الله وإنهم لكاذبون ألا إنهم من إفكهم لا يقولون ولد الله ألا إن إنهم يعني of their lie of their fabricated lies is that they say what Allah begot ولد الله ولد ها yeah so ولد means what he begot or it begot Okay, and it is used more for it than she. And it's a Kavanic. Mm. That's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَوَالِدٍ وَمَا ولد. So, walad is he, or it, or she begot. Wabi. Now, now, and the begetting, when referred to the male, is in the sense of him being a reason, one of the means of reasons, wabi, due to the uh, discharge being from him, and from the female as well. Now, begot, يعني bore a child. Now, what other? Sired to mean what? To mean begot also. طيب. Jazakumullah khair. طيب وصفنا. The next one is. Ah, Jazakumullah uh, khair. Barakallah khair. Jazakumullah khair for the benefit. Now, وصفنا. 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 Of course, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, we'll, we'll see the mudarib in the Quran. Yasifu. Wallahu a'lamu bima tasifun. Okay? Wasafa means he described. He described. What? He described. Okay. Wasala wa wa. و ص don't say sa و ص ص و صلا و صلا بارك الله فيكم is either taken as a transitive verb or intransitive okay if you take it as a transitive verb و صلا will mean joined something with something else 
Okay? Yes, wasafa he described. Okay? Wasala, he joined. He joined it. He joined it, for example. Okay? And if you take it as an intransitive verb, it will mean what? It will mean he reached. He reached to a certain destination. Mm. Yeah, he reached, yes. He reached or arrived there. Okay? Wasal. No, no, no. That comes with wasal, no. Ahsanti. No. In the same form, yes. In the same form, exactly, yes. So it can be used both uh, transitive and intransitive. Wadi? Clear? Ayyub. The wow and the zai and the noon. Ah. Wa za na. Wazana. Wazana. Wazana means he weighed. Huh? Just as we taught you to say, we say wazana ala wazni what? Fa'ala. Right? So wazana is he weighed. He weighed. He weighed something. Look, bala is with a sitting lamb. Yatasni. Or tansil. No. With the sitting alif, pardon me. With the sitting alif. Tayyib, wazana. Tayyib. Then we have wa. How do we say this one? Wa. Ta. Wa qaya. Very good. Waqaya. 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 Uh, waqaya. Anything peculiar about Waqaya? Principle. What principle do we have here to apply? Uh, the ya. Don't just say the ya. What about the ya? Aywa. When the ya or a wow have a harakah and the letter before has a fatha, what do we do? Uh, what do we do? We change it into? Into an elif. Okay, here, is it going to be a sitting elif or a standing elif? How come? How come a sitting elif? Very good. To hint out that it was originally a ya. So we write it like so. To hint out that it is originally a ya. Yes, we took this before. Revision is important. Are you? Clear? Inshallah, pardon me just a moment. I will be right back. Inshallah ta'ala. Okay?
السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته. طيب لا نسجد المطارع إن شاء الله تعالى. نسجد المطارع. وقع means he protected. He protected. طيب. Or he preserved. He preserved, protected. No, this is waqa. Well, okay. Let's go to the mubariya now. Okay. Now the mubariya, we bring the ya, right? First. We bring the ya first. We copy-paste it as it is. Then we bring what is supposed to be parallel to the to the fa, which is what, huh? Which is the wow. There we go. And the wow here, what haraka does it have? Ta, ah. silent. It doesn't have any haraka. Yao, yaf, yaf. Yo, yes. Uh, then what's parallel to the ayin? The jim. And what does the jim have here always? Huh? It has a kasra. Very, very good. Then the back comes parallel to the lam. And we give it what? We give it a dhamma. Yao jibu. Yaujibu. And Yaujibu means what? It becomes obligatory. Or it is obligatory. Okay? Or it falls. Or it is established. Rather. Or it, yeah, no, etc. Yaujibu. Yao Dibu. Okay? Ah, the next one is ah, Yao 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 Li Ju. Correct? Yes, Ilu. Yao Li Ju. Yes, Ilu. Yao Li Ju. Okay? Uh, uh, and how do we say it with wajada? Yaw huh? Yaw jidu Yaw jidu Yaw jidu Yaw jidu Yaw jidu Hmm with wa'ada, yaw, ha, yaw idu, yaw idu, yaw idu, with walada, yaw, ha, yaw, lidu. Yao Lido. You with me, yes? I hope you are all with me. I hope those those who are not typing are writing. And with us on track, inshallah. Now. Uh, the second one the next Yao Yao Sifu. Yao Sifu. Yao Sifu. The next one. Yao Silu. That's better, mashallah. Yao Silu. Ha. From Wazana, Yao Zinu. Yao Zinu. From Waka, Yao. Yao Ti Yu Yao Ti Yu Clear 
clear what we did? Huh? Okay. Now. Now, now, now. Now listen carefully. Okay? Principle. Principle. Hold on to those principles now. Okay? So those principles are huh? your Arabic. Your Arabic language in speaking is going to be based on those principles. So principle. What does this principle say? Whenever whenever the wow falls between its two enemies Okay, and what do we mean by its two enemies? Meaning, yes, meaning Fatha and Kasra. It falls. Whenever the wow falls between its two enemies, the Fatha and the Kasra, it falls. Okay, we're calling it, calling it, yeah, they call it enemies in the sense of what? In the sense of them not suiting the wow. Yes, it falls, it drops. Well, then. Okay, it falls, drops, goes, take it away, drop it. Drop it from writing and from pronunciation as well. Yes, halas is surrounded. It's outnumbered, but especially it's surrounded. What if? Huh? It's two different enemies. It's those two enemies. Yani between a fatha and the kasra. Not between a fatha and a fatha. But between a fatha and what? And the kasra. What? Clear? Between a fatha and a kasra. Yes. Two enemies. Yeah. I mean, if we say it's two enemies, we are referring to the fatha and the kasra. Clear? What? Okay, so what are we going to do to Yao Jibu? As illustrated in the exercise we just completed. Which exercise? No, that's the Maldi. Now, this is only in the Mudarib, where it gets, it comes between what? Between the Kasra and the Fatha. Because in the first, which is the Maldi, the wow is the beginning. It doesn't come between anything. It comes in the beginning. Okay? So here, yaw jibu. Yaw jibu. What will it become? We drop the wow. What do you read now? Huh? Yajibu. And that's what the Arabs say. Okay? Yajibu. Okay? Yao Lidu will become what? Yalidu. Just drop the wow. Just drop the wow. Whether people are looking or not, just drop the wow. No problem. Wow there. Yalidu. Yalidu means what? Means he enters. Huh? And this is in the Quran. Inna ladina kathabu bi ayatina wa stakbaru anha la tufattahu lahum. As in Surah Al-A'raf. Abwaabu al-Sama'i wa la yadukhuluna al-Jannata hatta yalij. 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 
يلج الجمل في سم الخياط Ahsanti, barakallahu fiki, ahsanti. Also, the blessed sister brought another verse. Ya'lamu ma yaliju fil ardi wa ma yakhruju minha. Wa ma yanzilu min al-samai wa ma ya'ruju fiha. Fatihallahu alayki. Ahsanti means you did well. And ahsanta is for the male. Ahsanti is for the female. No. Yeah, it's like saying, well done, well done. Ahsanta, well done. Ahsanti. No. All day. Even the letter before has a kasara. We said, when? Between a fatha and a kasara. So if, it, if it's between a fatha and a fatha, it doesn't fall. No problem, no problem. Even if you're not writing anything, it doesn't matter. As long as you're writing on a piece of paper or you're with us or you're, you know, it doesn't matter, inshallah. No problem. Otherwise, if it's between a fatha and a fatha, it, it does not fall. If, it between, if it's between a kasra and a kasra, it does not fall. Yes. Fatha, kasra, fatha, fatha, kasra, yes. Wadih? If that is found. If that is found. If it is found. Kasra in the beginning and Fatha later. So be it. Wadih. Yalij. Okay. Ha. Yawjidu. Yes. Yawjidu. Yajidu. 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 يجد ومن يهاجر في سبيل الله يجد في الأرض مراغما كثيرا وسعة في سورة النساء ومن يهاجر في سبيل الله يجد 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 في الأرض مراغما كثيرا وسعة he finds whoever travels or whoever uh, does the hijrah in the, for the cause of Allah, he will find, or he finds. Yajidu uh, now. Yaw'idu. Ya'idu. Ya'idu. And he promises. Ya'idukum Allah. وَإِذْ يَعِدُكُمُ اللَّهُ إِحْدَى الطَّائِفَتَيْنِ أَنَّهَا لَكُمْ سورة الفعل سورة البقرة الشيطان يعدكم الفقر ويأمركم بالفحشاء سورة النساء يَعِدُهُمْ وَيُمَنِّيهِمْ وَمَا يَعِدُهُمُ الشَّيْطَانُ إِلَّا غُرُورَهُ واضح؟ You see, يَعِدُ The point is, he didn't say يَعِدُ He said يَعِدُ Clear? Okay? Hmm Ahsantunna, Ahsantunna, may Allah bless in your efforts. Yawlidu, Yalid, Haa, Now I don't have to tell you where this is in the Qur'an. Right? You know best, huh? Alisa Gadalik. Lam Yalid, wa Lam Yulad. واضح يوصف ها يصف يصف 
and remember that the, the ya, instead of the ya in the beginning, it could be a hamza. Instead of the hamza in the beginning, it could be a ta. Instead of the ta in the beginning, it could be a noon. Because there are four letters for the mudariya. Remember that always. Uh, isn't that so? We said one of four letters. But we're using the ya by default. Okay? Otherwise you can say asifu or nasifu or tasifu or yasifu. Huh? Just as Yusuf said, Wallahu a'lamu bima tasifu. And his father said it as well. Tasifu. Tasifu. Okay? And also, Yasifun is there also. Of course they change the meaning. We will, we will know later. Later we will take the conjugations of the verbs. So we will know when it means I, and when it means we, and when it means they, and when it means he, and when it means you. It will come, inshallah. Okay, slowly, slowly. It will come, inshallah. Ya usilu. Ah, ya usilo, ya silo, ya silo, ya Yazinu, it weighs, it weighs. Yazinu. And tazinu, and azinu, and nazinu. Ad dunya inda Allah la tazinu janaha ba'uba. Yani, this worldly life, in the estimation of Allah, does not weigh. Uh, oh, uh, uh, a mosquito's wing. Isn't that so? Yeah. Ahsanti, Ahsanti, Barakallahu Fiki. Naam. Wa ma kana li shurak, fa ma kana li shurak, rut bishlik, eh, wa ma kana li shurakaihim, fa la yasilu ila Allah. Ahsanti, Barakallahu, fatah Allahu alik. إذا كان لشركائهم فلا يصل إلى الله وما كان لله فهو يصل إلى شركائهم فتح الله عليك نعم وفتح الله عليكم أجمعين That's a dua for you there You know what it means فتح الله عليكم Mm -hmm. And may Allah open the doors for you. The doors of goodness, yani. Okay? No. Tayyid, what about the last one? Yaw qiyu will be what? Ya qiyu. Ya qiyu. And here we have another principle that we have taken before in Yaqiyu, you, 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 especially Yaqiyu, huh? especially when we have a Kasra, then a Dhamma. What's that principle? Ahsanti, if you can't move, remove. The Dhamma is heavy on the Ya. And we can't move it over. Because there's no space. So if we can't move, what do we do? We remove. So it will be what? Yaqi. Yaqi. No? Not yaqi. Yaqi. Because yaqi means something else. Uh, especially in English. Ya qi, 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 qi. See how that sounds? Qi, qi, 
key. Not key, neither qi. Ya qi. Ya qi. Ya qi. Ya qi. 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 Between the kaf and the qa. Between. Ya qi. Okay? That's how to say it. Okay, yaqi. Yaqi. That has a fatha or a bump. That's the one. Okay, the one that has a fatha or a bump. Okay, we give you homework or what? Uh, maybe you missed those homeworks, yes? If you see a word with a yeah in the first letter. That's the first letter. And better with the kasab as a second. Shall we assume the first original? Yes, it is a well. No, generally no. Generally no. We don't generalize this. No. Yeah, and you, you cannot take it as a principle. No. Just as ya innu huh? and ya bindu. Ya bindu, there's no, there's no wow here. Here's the lamb is a yeah. Here the lamb is a yeah. So can't we apply type two also? Look here because waqa yaqi. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. They both. They both make it uh, of chapter two. And whether we say it's the second type or the fourth type is the same. Same conclusion. Okay. So we give you homework. Yeah. Okay. Something to practice with, Yanni. All right. Let's see. Let us give you the wow and the tha and the ba. And the wow and the qaf and the ba. وَقَمْ وَمِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَمْ وَقَمْ And uh, let's give you the wow and the hamza and the dal وَأَدْ And we give you the wow and the ra and the dal Yes, in the next class we will start with chapter 3, that's right. Okay. Not only chapter 3, we'll take chapter 3 and 4 and 5. And probably even 6. Because the most of the principles are in chapter 1 and 2. The rest is easy. Yes, probably in one class. And you're almost done. You're almost done, Barakallah Fikum. Very good. You're almost done with the first level. You're almost done, Barakallah Fikum. You did well, MashaAllah Ta'ala. Allahumma barik. May Allah yani, increase you and open the doors for you and keep you firm and bless you. Wadih. But yani, help me help you by, by what? Help me help you by, by uh, revision, okay? Otherwise, you're not going anywhere. Nasiha, for the sake of Allah, yeah, inshaAllah. Okay?
Take also the in wa'ada isn't Hamza one of the throat letters? Yes, but here the lamb, barakallahu The lamb, we said, provided the lamb isn't the throat letter. Wa'adeh? Yes. Okay, wa'ada. The uh, more, uh, take also the wow and the ta and the ra. Okay. Take also mm, the wow and the zai and the rap. Take also the wow and the seen and the qaf. وما وسق والقمر إذا اتسق لتركبون طبقا عن طبق Okay, take also the wow and the عين and the ضاق and the ضاق uh, Sorry, uh, someone uh, it seems like someone sent me a private message I don't check private messages uh, only see the general chat, so if there's anything, insha'Allah, through through email, insha'Allah, or through the inbox of us. So, the wow and the ain and the ba. The wow and the ain and the ba. Okay. Take also the wow. Wow. And the and and the ba and the lam. Mix all four types of chapter two verbs and give us homework because you didn't give us homework based on the previous time. Okay, inshallah. We'll say next time maybe we'll give you different types of verbs, inshallah, and then we'll tell you and decide. Which one. Good idea, inshallah. How in chapter one there is a kasra and, and dhamma or Fatha on the Alif in color example red. Color example red? What do you mean color example red? Maybe you're referring to the notes uh, yeah, any that are up on the establishing the principles that workers dot com. Uh, so I, I'm not very aware of that yet. Because I don't yeah, see it often. Okay, how many do we have there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That's right. Nine, that's enough, inshallah. Okay. Last question. Ustad, I remember you having said once, if not in this batch, the earlier one, that Dhamma is heavy on the wow and Kisra is heavy on the Ya. So we add to this that the Dhamma is also heavy on the Ya and do these three times compromise possible heaviness. Whatever I said before, I advise you to leave it. Okay? Or don't focus on it. Because I'm trying to give you what is sufficient, insha'Allah ta'ala. I'm trying to give you what is sufficient. Okay? So work with what you have. And don't ask for what you can't handle. Wallahu ta'ala alam. Wa sallallahu wa sallam wa barika ala Muhammad